Do you know these 100 differences between Minecraft Java and Bedrock? Parrots on Bedrock Edition are cooler than Java parrots. This is because parrots on Bedrock will dance on your shoulder when a song is playing. On Java, they just kind of sit there and mind their own business? Come on parrots, do something. This is a Bedrock sheep, and this is a Java sheep. Can you tell me what's different about the two sheep? Well, Bedrock sheep have the wool colour around their faces, but the Java sheep do not. This actually looks really weird. Another odd feature with sheep on bedrock is when they're sheared, they'll have coloured patches on their body that's based on their wool colour. On Java, they have patches, but it will always be white. Maps have a very unique feature on bedrock edition, as empty maps can be used to locate players, which is called the empty map locator. On Java, this feature doesn't exist, but it should. What makes a bedrock turtle more special than a Java turtle? Well, on bedrock, they're actually called sea turtles, but on Java, they're just plain old turtles. Foxes on Bedrock actually stand a chance, as they have double the health compared to Java. On Bedrock, foxes have 10 hearts of health, but on Java, they only have 5. The hardest game mode in Minecraft is of course, Hardcore. It's a simple premise, you only get one life and you're set to the hardest difficulty, but on Bedrock Edition, Minecraft Hardcore doesn't even exist. I guess that's one thing us Java players have over Bedrock. Don't mess with an Endermite on Bedrock Edition, as they will attack Endermen with without any hesitation. On Java, Endermites are a little more chill as they will only attack Endermen if they are provoked. Speaking of Endermen, when they spawn in your Minecraft world, they actually have a chance to teleport randomly. On Java, they don't do this as they're not that shy and will always say hi. In Bedrock Edition, you are able to make a boat train with your pets as you are able to attach leads onto boats. Sadly, this is not a feature on Java Edition. Pistons look a little different in Bedrock Edition compared to Java. On Java, the extended piston arm is quite thin compared to the chunky Bedrock version and the animation is different as well. Another difference is that pistons on Bedrock are capable of pushing certain tile entities such as hoppers or chests. I'm sure many redstoners on Java are jealous of this feature. Fishing rods in Bedrock Edition are way stronger than Java's fishing rods as they have 6 times the durability. Bedrock has 384 durability whereas Java only has 64. With that said, there is a drawback to fishing in Bedrock Edition, as you are unable to catch any tropical fish or puffer fish in any jungle biome. Java crossbows are better than Bedrock crossbows. This is because crossbows on Java have 465 durability, whereas on Bedrock it's only 464. Yep, you heard me, there is a 1 durability difference. Bedrock swamps are a little more exciting compared to Java, as you're able to find naturally generated giant mushrooms within the biome. These mushrooms actually really suit the biome. Desert wells are far more common in Bedrock compared to Java as they have a 1 in 500 chance to generate per chunk, but in Java it's a 1 in 1000 chance. That's annoying for us Java players as desert wells actually have a purpose in 1.20 now. Have you ever had trouble looking through igloo windows on Bedrock Edition? Well I'm not surprised, because the igloos on Bedrock actually used packed ice for windows instead of regular ice on Java. Leaves in Bedrock Edition are really interesting, as if they generate in a snowy related biome, they'll begin to appear frost coloured if it snows. Java Edition seriously needs this feature man, it's so cool! Searching for jungle temples is almost a bit pointless, as they don't really offer anything valuable. In Bedrock, they're also harder to find, as they only have a 3 out of 14 chance of generating, while in Java it's a 3 out of 7 chance. In Bedrock Edition, there is an exclusive shipwreck structure that can generate. That's right, in Bedrock you're able to find shipwrecks that are made from acacia wood. In Java, these are nowhere to be found. In Bedrock, you're able to obtain dirt paths by using Silk Touch. In Java, trying to break a dirt path just gives you, well, dirt. On Bedrock Edition, Enchanted Golden Apples give the player Regeneration 5, but on Java, it's only Regeneration 2. Dropping items, punching the air, and jumping around will play sound effects in Bedrock Edition, but in Java, it's completely silent. Shields are a bit annoying to use on Bedrock, especially on PC. This is because if you want to activate Activate the shield on bedrock, you need to crouch, but on Java, all you need to do is right click, which I much prefer. What's different about my face?
Well, that's right, I just blinked. This doesn't happen on Java, but it does on Bedrock. Steve's eyes must be so dry on Java, man. On Bedrock Edition, when bone meal is used directly on flowers, it will spawn the same type of flower nearby. In Bedrock Edition, the fence gate as an item is missing the holes on its texture. Seriously, how did Mojang miss this one? It looks terrible. Bedrock can't seem to have complete textures, but what they do have instead are 3D fishing bobbers. Seriously, these bobbers look so much cooler than the Java ones, which are only 2D. There's a special potion type on Bedrock Edition that doesn't exist in Java. This potion is called the Decay Potion, which gives a player the withering effect. Us Java players all know that raw beef is called steak when it is cooked. In Bedrock, raw beef is just known as cooked beef. Bit boring, but fair enough. Java players should be jealous of Bedrock's cakes. This is because cakes in Bedrock can stack up to 64, whereas in Java, you can't even stack one. Java players will just have to physically stack them like this. Wool in Bedrock Edition is somewhat fireproof because if you attempt to use it in a furnace it won't do anything and can't smelt items. In Java however, wool can be used as fuel in a furnace. In Bedrock Edition, snow layers are unique as they are affected by gravity and have a falling animation. On Java, if the supporting block is destroyed, the snow layer will be destroyed as well. When reading a book, you're always looking at two pages, which is exactly how you view books in Bedrock Edition. In Java, however, you can only look at one page, which means it isn't accurate to real life and therefore means you should never play Java again. Only joking, we love Java. How much string do you think one piece of cobweb gives you? Well, on Java, you can only break the cobweb to get one piece of string. But on Bedrock, you can actually craft the cobweb into nine string. If you thought Steve was strong in Java Edition, then Bedrock Steve is on a another level as players in Bedrock are able to break a furnace with their bare fist. In Java Edition, breaking a furnace with your fist gives you, well, nothing. Beds in Bedrock are a little flat. This is because beds in Bedrock use 2D textures when in item form. The beds in Java are 3D. In Bedrock, riding a horse with a shield is a pretty powerful mechanic as shields will automatically block any incoming attack when you're on the horse. In Java, you have to hold the shield up manually, so it's it's not as easy. Obtaining mob heads can be a challenging task. This is because in both Java and Bedrock you need a charge creeper to kill said mob. With that said, mob heads are easier to get in Bedrock. This is because in Bedrock if a charge creeper blows up multiple mobs you can get a mob head from every mob that died to the creeper explosion. In Java, if multiple mobs die to a charge creeper only one of the mobs will drop a head. Boats and minecarts have a very odd feature in Bedrock edition as you are able to name the these items with a name tag and they'll display the name above them when they're placed. In Java, this feature is nowhere to be found. In Bedrock, when a nether portal generates in mid-air, they'll always generate with netherrack in the surrounding areas of the portal. In Java Edition, it's a lot more dangerous as these portals can only generate with a tiny bit of obsidian, so be careful. Eating cake in Bedrock is a lot funnier than Java as when you consume each slice, you'll always make a burping sound. I'll be real, I'm a grown man laughing at a burping sound in Minecraft. What, what, what is wrong with me, man? Rails in Java Edition are much stronger than the ones in Bedrock, as they cannot be destroyed by water. Rails in Bedrock, however, hate water, as they'll instantly be destroyed on contact. Bedrock Edition is cursed, as at night time when there is a full moon, cats have a 50% chance of spawning as a black cat. In Java Edition, this cannot happen, so you don't have to worry about a bunch of black cats giving you bad luck. I mean, let's be real, do you even believe in all this bad luck stuff anyway? On Bedrock Edition, you might want to turn your weather sounds down as it still uses the old rain sound effects. Any old school Java player will remember this rain sound as it was ear piercingly loud back in the day. Maybe it's time for Bedrock to update their rain sounds to match Java Editions as it's much calmer. Salmon in Java Edition are a little one dimensional as they're always the same size when they're spawned. In Bedrock, however, salmon comes in different sizes when spawned. I want the bigger salmon, I'm hungry. When you kill a mob in Java Edition, XP orbs will instantly drop. But on Bedrock Edition, you have to wait until the mob fully disappears before the XP orb will appear. Come on, hurry up, I want my XP. As you know, playing on peaceful mode prevents hostile mobs from spawning. For example, if you attempt to spawn a Vindicator, Evoker, or Piglin Brute in Java, they instantly despawn. But in Bedrock Edition, for some reason, it is possible to spawn these three mobs. 
jobs. When riding a pig in Bedrock Edition, if you right click the pig with a carrot on a stick, it will actually play a sound cue for the pig when it is speeding up. On Java Edition, the unique pig sound effect is nowhere to be heard. In Bedrock, if a drowned is holding an item, it actually starts to walk like the player, which is a little unnerving. What's worse is that drowns will also swim like a player when they're holding an item as well. Okay, drowns in Bedrock are really creepy. Speaking of weird Bedrock features, when skeletons are underwater, they will switch to a unique melee attack instead of using their bow. In Bedrock, if you think an invisibility potion will keep you safe from guardians, then you are wrong. This is because guardians in Bedrock are still able to attack the player despite being completely invisible. Bedrock guardians are OP. In Java, an easy way to kill endermen is by placing them in a boat. This is because the endermen cannot teleport away, making it an easy way to farm ender pearls. On Bedrock, this sadly isn't possible as endermen can still teleport out of the boat. Tridents are more powerful in Bedrock Edition, as when they're thrown, they can deal damage to multiple targets at once. In Java, however, they only hit one target at a time, which doesn't seem very fair. This is a cheap barrel, and this is an expensive barrel. Despite being the same block, Mojang decided that barrels in Bedrock would have a much cheaper recipe, as they require sticks to craft instead of planks. This baby villager in Java Edition looks pretty normal, right? Well now, take a look at the Bedrock baby villager. Its head is slightly bigger and looks a little ridiculous. Crafting a boat in Java only requires five wooden planks, but where do these paddles come from? Well, Bedrock kind of has it covered as you need an additional shovel in order to craft the boat. Still doesn't explain where the other paddle came from though. For those who enjoy the old combat system in Minecraft, you may actually like Bedrock. This is because in Bedrock Edition, it still uses the old combat system that was used prior to the 1.9 combat update in Java. In Java, we've all gone to the nether roof at least once. I mean, it's great for traveling and building incredibly powerful farms. But sadly for you Bedrock players, you are not able to build on top of the nether. If you enjoy variety in your Minecraft seeds, then you're more likely to get it on Java Edition. This is because there is 18.4 quintillion possible seeds to get on Java. On Bedrock, however, there's only 4.2 billion possible seeds to get, so the chances of seeing the same seed twice is significantly higher. Bedrock Edition seems to enjoy blinding the player as if it were real life. This is because if you stare into the sun on Bedrock, it causes the darkness effect. On Java, however, you can stare into the sun with no consequences to your eyesight. Do you like using your offhand in Java? Well, in Bedrock, you can basically forget about this feature, as there's only a select few items that can be placed into the offhand slot. In Bedrock Edition, when a parrot is fed a cookie, they don't instantly die like they do in Java. Instead, they slowly die from poison, which seems like a much harsher fate. I'm not sure what Mojang did here, but cows in Bedrock Edition run significantly faster than they do in Java. This happens when the player is holding wheat in their hand. I guess cows in Bedrock are just much more eager. Java Edition lacks a feature that Bedrock has, fallen trees. Why Java doesn't have falling trees is very strange as it would be quite simple to implement and they look really cool. Surviving a super flat world in Bedrock Edition is much harder than Java Edition as village structures do not generate at all. This is a flat world, not to be confused with a super flat world. That's right, in Bedrock they're called flat worlds and in Java they're called super flat worlds. Does that mean one world is flatter than the other? Who knows? In Java, do you think a snow golem and zombie fight is a little one-sided? I mean, the zombie's not bothering him at all. Well, in Bedrock Edition, the zombies will actually fight back. Be careful, Snow Golem, get out of there! In Bedrock Edition, Vindicators also attack Snow Golems, but in Java Edition, they don't. I guess they're not as nice in Bedrock. Have you ever seen a baby squid in Minecraft? Well, in Bedrock Edition, they actually exist. These baby squids will spawn naturally in your Bedrock world, however, it does make me a bit sad that they aren't in Java. Much like baby squids, there's also baby dolphins. These also only spawn naturally in your world on Bedrock, but in Java, oh, oh wait, they don't exist. Have you ever felt that armor stands in Java are missing a little something? Well, in Bedrock Edition, armor stands actually have actual arms, whereas in Java, they don't. I guess Bedrock stole Java's arms? Is this item called an enchanted golden apple or an enchanted apple? Technically, both are correct, as in Bedrock, they're known as enchanted apples, and in Java, they're called enchanted golden apples. If you have a spare fire aspect book, then try using it on a campfire. This is because in Bedrock, you can light a campfire by right-clicking with a fire aspect 
book. This also works on candles. Just hit it with a fire aspect book and there you go. However, be careful with your fire aspect books around TNT because if you touch it, it will ignite. You don't have to worry about this on Java though as nothing happens. Oh, look at me. I accidentally put the campfire out. Not to worry. Let me just set myself on fire. That's right. You can relight campfires with your burning body, which is a bit weird. That's right. On bedrock, if you're ever on fire, just stand on top of an unlit campfire because it will light it. I'm not so sure if you'll survive though. Can you use bone meal on sugarcane? Well, if you're a Java player, you're likely to say no, but in bedrock edition, you can use bone meal on sugarcane, which is kind of cool. Why isn't this a feature on Java, man? I have to wait ages for the sugarcane to grow. Have you ever noticed that chests look a bit strange in your hotbar? That's because in bedrock edition, they're displayed as a full chest block, whereas in Java, they're a lot smaller. In bedrock edition, cauldrons have an exclusive feature where you can apply dye colours to water. This is a cool feature as you can have a bunch of cauldrons that are all different water colours. If you try to do this in Java, well, nothing happens. In Bedrock, you can also use these coloured cauldrons to dye your leather armour to their respective colours. In Java, you are only able to dye armour through the crafting recipe. You can, however, use the cauldrons to remove the dye from the armour in Java, which is pretty cool, I guess. Have you ever wanted to attach your mobs to a wall by using a lead? Well, in Bedrock, you can, whereas in Java, you can only place leads on fences. In Bedrock Edition, witches are very aggressive, as they'll even go as far as to attack an iron golem. In Java Edition, they're a little bit more chill, as they won't attack an iron golem unless they're provoked. Oh no, this is not good. I'm drowning. I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I could just place down a door to save myself. Wait, what's going on? Why am I still drowning? Oh wait, you can't use doors as air pockets in Bedrock. It only works in Java. Wait, no! Pillagers are a bit more useful in Bedrock Edition, as they have a chance to drop up to two arrows upon death. In Java Edition, however, they don't drop anything, which is a little bit disappointing. Have you ever noticed that the Wither is considerably harder on Bedrock when you increase the difficulty? On Bedrock, if you have the difficulty set to Hard Mode, the Wither has 300 hearts of health instead of 150. Whereas the Java's Wither stays at 150 hearts of health no matter the difficulty. Totems of Undying behave differently on Bedrock compared to Java, but this detail is so small it's hard to even notice. So when the totem is used on Bedrock, you get Regeneration 2 for 40 seconds, but on Java, it lasts for 45 seconds. When you see a cauldron at a swamp hut in Java Edition, it's not really that exciting, as it's always empty. In Bedrock, however, cauldrons have a chance to be filled with a random potion. Bedrock's wandering traders are a bit smarter than their Java counterpart. This is because if hostile mobs approach a wandering trader on Bedrock, they'll instantly drink an invisibility potion, but on Java, they just kind of run for their lives. Sometimes Bedrock Edition can feel a little bit dated, especially since they still use the old splash sound when you land in water. I have to say though, this water sound is super nostalgic. It takes me back to the old days of Minecraft. Being able to destroy a water source block with a torch in Java Edition is a bit of a strange feature. Now Bedrock Edition knows this is a strange feature and decided not to include it. Oh dear, I don't have any shears to carve my pumpkin. Does this mean I can't create an iron golem? Not to worry, as in Bedrock Edition, it doesn't matter which type of pumpkin you use, you will still be able to make the iron golem regardless. Oh, and this also works with snow golems. In Java, trading with villagers is like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you're going to get. But in Bedrock Edition, it's a bit different as the villager will display the next set of trades available. In Java Edition, there is a feature known as quasi-connectivity, which is technically a bug that allows you to power a piston diagonally or two blocks above. In Bedrock Edition, however, this feature does not exist at all, which means there's less ways to power pistons. If you have a bee nest nearby, make sure to remove any berry bushes, as on Bedrock Edition, bees will take damage if they touch them. On Java Edition, bees don't take damage from berry bushes. It's a well-known fact that piglins in Minecraft do not like soul fire, as they will always run away if they're nearby. In Bedrock, not only are piglins scared, they're also paranoid as they will still run away from extinguished soul campfires despite not being lit. While this feature isn't in Java Edition, it's 
likely a bug in Bedrock. And finally on our list, in Bedrock Edition, the crossbow's loading animation is completely different to Java's crossbow. Lots of things in Minecraft make no sense, and you can watch this video to find out why.